What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Sangatsu no Lion, this time with episode 10. Looking forward to today's episode, got no idea what we have in store, but last episode was an absolute banger. Um, like Every episode has been up until this point, all 9 episodes have been top, top quality. Uh, we met Matsu Nagu-san, um, I think last episode, the uh, the old man who was uh, just about on the edge of retirement of uh, Shogi, but um, looks like we kind of revitalised him a little bit after the match we played uh, with Ray taking him on and beating him. Um, it was a really, it was a really awesome guy, wasn't he? He was uh, quite the sneaky old fellow but I uh, really loved his personality had a whole lot to say uh, really quite introspective as well towards the end of the episode um, hearing about his kind of thoughts on Shogi and his kind of passion for winning but also his kind of uh, disparity for losing as well I very much um, kind of feel the same with the events I do again it, it just in general all the characters in the show are kind of so relatable in a way of uh, everyone can kind of relate to something they've done at some point I do imagine um, hence why so many people do love this show I think but um, again very excited to see what's uh, going to be covered today make sure you let me know guys think about this one though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions and let's get right into it guys Yesterday's upload um, of episode 9 was a one-off by the way, I won't be uploading usually on Mondays but just because Finland Saga is uh, not released this week but next Monday I've uh, decided to do a Sangatsu in its place. So a little extra episode for you guys this week, which I don't mind at all, <laughs> don't not mind one bit. Yeah, another kind of interesting splash of the stepsister last episode wasn't there Ray just calling her up saying yeah he's uh old man's not quitting just yet can't do those chores just yet <laughs> by the time he uh he does quit he'd be too old to do any chores which I think is what he's hoping for <laughs> This opening just always gets you in the mood for the show as well, doesn't it? Perfectly. See the darkness, but the song is also bright, isn't it? It feels that way anyway. Some very dark visuals, but again, the song just feels so uplifting. It very much, again, captures the essence of the show very well. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, new ones if we're going to get them. I think we're at least going to get some in the second season, I think it is. I look forward to see what those have in store as well. There's your new mattress. So that's what we call our foster sister. Is stepsister another word for that? I think it is, right? Actually, oh, she left someone behind. Actually, she left that on purpose. Maybe. I still really don't have any idea what her deal is. She's definitely, a, again, a kind of a bit of a scarred person, a little bit like Ray in that way. Just differently, because obviously she didn't lose as much, but she almost kind of lost her family as well, you know. He don't want you invading his space. <laughs> hmm. Very much invading his space from that. So is there something romantic between these guys which would just be weird? Or is it a kind of abuser type situation? I really don't know. I've got no idea. I've got absolutely no idea.
Um, She does always seem to be bring out the kind of worst in people, doesn't she? The, the worst kind of parts about them. Yeah, all her words are kind of like daggers, aren't they? A spiky person. Want to hear them. Maybe he thinks this is some kind of punishment or something, who knows. Again, I've, I, 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 I can't struggle to comprehend. Yeah, maybe he thinks this is some kind of punishment for taking her family away, perhaps. And I've got no idea. Bomb. It's a good little present, Game Boy. Okay, the best gift in the room. I guess that's the kind of passing of the torch almost. Passing down the shogi board from father to stepson. He doesn't want to take part in your social activities, dude. <laughs> he ain't that guy. But, um, yeah, I'm, all, I'm just fascinated by this stepsister, to be honest with you. And his, especially Ray's thoughts on her and his deal with her, to be honest. He just takes it. He always meets her, he always talks to her. <clears throat> It seems like someone you'd want to kind of cut away from you. But obviously that's not the case. Apologies guys. My uh, eyes are going a little bit crazy today. As they have been as of lately. I'm guessing the higher these dams are, the more prestige they are in the shogi profession. And again, we've met another guy she's spoken about. How does she know so much about these people? Is it from her, from her actual father? Him telling her, perhaps? 
But she doesn't play anymore. So she's given him that ultimatum again, just like with Matsunaga saying if if Ray beats him and he's gonna be abusive at Christmas. That was kind of overcome last time, wasn't it? So perhaps we might be able to do that again, although I think it's less likely this time. But why is she getting so involved? Here we go again. The kanji all look so similar, but they are different kanji, aren't they? I think that whole first row is the pawn things, but other than that, it's hard to actually tell apart because <laughs> obviously all the ones on that row are exactly the same. But it's just a like slight difference with the bottom bit of kanji or top bit. Again, it's hard to. Maybe if it was in English, it would uh, be a little bit easier to understand the game a bit better. Don't really need to. Again, I fully understood what happened in the last one with Matsunaga without even really knowing about Shogi. They do it in a brilliant way where normal people can just watch and understand without knowing. Pretty damn complex right there. That's just another kind of challenging element, isn't it? Been in a different language as well. So it's quite that is very amusing actually that the music is this intense, but the match almost seems like it's just a very standard match. I think the music is kind of hinting at the kind of again what kind of lies behind this perhaps if he does if this guy does lose, there's actually quite a lot on the line here, but it's just an ordinary game. doesn't seem like anything too flashy is going on. Guy oh, is getting thirsty, isn't he? This guy was getting thirsty. Or his rage just drank one of his drinks and left the other. Interesting. Again, I think the surrounding stuff actually told a lot more about this than the actual shogi just then. Looks like he's really thirsty for a drink. Rocking back and forth like that. Bit like the start of Ma with Matsunaga, 
again I did say that the position really did look quite complex or it kind of broke open it looked like so right after break he made a mistake so he fumbled it and he realised he fumbled it right after the break as well right after clearing your head interesting Yeah, very much so. And that's a rule with chess as well. Should never should never just quit like that, even if it's like a high level game, unless unless you're very sure that you've lost. Which even sometimes is not the case. You always try and fight on. No matter how bad you're losing, you could have a chance to checkmate. I think that just kind of cemented it. <laughs> Whatever that move was, it looks like it kind of took a valuable piece just there. It's pretty cool that they review their games like that afterwards. Hope we can go with a drink for this guy. Uh, actually, I'm not sure a drink is a good thing for this guy, but maybe we can console him or something as well. Perhaps I don't think Ray just wants it to end like that either. But he's not really the outgoing, extroverted type of guy to do something like that, is he? All on his own will. It kind of just happened with Matsunaga, didn't it? He left his Christmas gift. Going for a drink, probably. That but really it's fucking quite sharp, isn't he? <laughs> Ugh. The mad dog. As you Americans would say, he's a mad dog. That was quite brutal to be honest. At least he took his kind of frustration out on Ray rather than his uh, daughter or wife, though, to be fair. Yeah, 
guess this might have been a bit of a valuable lesson for Ray though. Not that not everyone's worth helping, because everyone is worth helping, but you won't get the same level of respect or outcome for every person, like what we got with Matsunaga, which went exceptionally well compared to what happened here. That's what alcohol does to you, though. it kind of fundamentally changes you, rather than Matsunaga, who wasn't kind of influenced outside by anything. Alcohol is a hell of a drug. Hell of a more of a drug than many illegal drugs. <laughs> Actually. So what, they said he wasn't very good at PE this episode. Doesn't seem too bad at running to me. Where is he going? That's the question. I've kind of got an idea, but... Go on, Ray. No, you've done everything right. Did he just come run here to let his frustrations out? Again, though, there was really nothing else you could have done. Very. I don't want to rewatch that again, to be honest. As much as it was quite painful to watch, it really was a release right there, wasn't it? It wasn't where, again, it was not, not, not where I thought it was going. 2049. I thought he was either um, running back to his place or running to uh, running to the stepsister. Um, but I just wanted to release some tension. But everything said here is true. That scream there. He almost feels a bit disrespected, it seems like, as well. All he has is Shogi, sir. So I'm kind of disrespecting the game like this guy. Added another level onto not being able to help him, I guess. Yeah, like I said, it's really not Ray's fault at all. It's all the drunkard's fault. And even then, it's not even really... 100% his fault, although it's a lot his fault, but again, a certain part of that goes to the alcohol companies and such, and the government, in my opinion. Like, people are just able to drink as much as they want whenever they want, which is just crazy. Think of your prescription drugs, which are slightly different. 
You're only allowed a certain amount before you die, and it's the same with alcohol. That's just human nature, my bro. Humans are built to survive. It's a very early instinct we were born with. Wow. Quite the difference, again, wasn't it, from uh, last episode to this one. Again, almost the same situation, but if anything, actually quite a bit more depressing. Mostly for the... Uh, that guy's family, to be honest with you. And for Ray, of course. But again, this is a good show of when things don't go so well. This is the real world, isn't it? Things go well, like with Matt Naga, Things also go like this. Uh, things don't go the way you want them at every turn. But I also feel that from uh, from Ray there as well. I kind of, I think everyone has that, don't they? Like like I said, it's like it's human nature to kind of survive no matter what, to a certain extent. It's just that survival instinct, man. And when Shogi's all you've got, you're going to give it your all. You can. You know, could have just threw that game, but again, it's not within uh, the nature to survive, and he's got. Show you on the line as well, hasn't he? You can't get relegated. This whole livelihood's on the line. I do just want to go back to that last statement again, though. Oh, the sister's visiting Ray. Of course, this bitch is just fucking. <laughs> of course, she's just looking glum there. Um, so again, it's understandable, isn't it? When you, when you see what happened to her family, Ray and such. When we got another glimpse of that this episode, didn't we? With uh, seeing their Christmas, and uh, that was a very interesting scene, wasn't it? Um, again, I do just want to go back, but that was a very interesting scene with. Uh, Yeah, I'm back to the point I want to watch. <laughs> um, yeah, it was very interesting uh, seeing seeing that Christmas and seeing the Game Boy, which I would have loved. <laughs> As a kid, I, I loved uh, little presents like that, DS uh, and such, um, any kind of uh, gaming device and uh, game, for example. Um, I was on my DS a lot as a kid growing up. Um, and uh, the teddy bear um, again, all re re relatively got kind of common gifts and such. And then Ray getting this shogi board again. It was m more less than a kind of Christmas gift and more like a kind of passing of the dynasty. It seemed we've seen uh, parts of that um, of their backstory um, up until this point, haven't we? Where obviously Ray was the kind of mastermind of uh, of the shogi in the in the kids and in the family, I guess. Um, although he wasn't again a part of the family, kind of pushed those pushed those eggs out of the nest of uh, kind of nurturing shogi players and um, kind of made them quit and made them kind of lose respect from their dad. Well, maybe not respect, but that kind of place. And it's weird because no no dad should ever be like that, but um, kind of lose that place in their dad's heart because of their kind of skill at shogi and kind of Ray took over that and kind of took over the mantle. Um, it's almost like, uh, I kind of compare it a little bit to um, Yakimo and, uh, and uh, what's his name in... Um, in uh Rakugo, um or kind of vying for the position of uh of a of a higher status and um you've got a couple of people obviously vying for that but all a part of the family but so it's always going to be a kind of very sad moment when uh, one of them doesn't get picked um obviously not quite as sad if it was ray because it would almost be expected being the kind of outside kid but um it being ray kind of hurts even more because they were an actual kind of family with connections although again the father's very weird in that way and that that family isn't it i just uh not very father like in my opinion um to actually do that to your own kids but 
that whole relationship between all of those people is kind of messed up. Um, so it's again interesting again another kind of depiction of that today, having the shogi presented to uh, to Ray. It really is everything to him, isn't it? It's what he took uh, what he took upon himself when his uh, his parents died. What his um, what he worked so hard towards his whole life up until this point, and what his stepfather. What the most important part about him to his stepfather was Shogi. It kind of seemed like, which again is kind of sad. So you say. That was the little bit I missed, by the way. Just that little 20 seconds before that. But yeah, that, that's the difference between Matsunaga and this guy, isn't it? Matsunaga had that will to go on. He had that will to win and fight. And uh, didn't want to give up just yet. Whereas this guy, he, he, he was playing like he already quit. He... Funnily enough, he had maybe. I'm still very interested about that break that they had as to why he made a blunder move straight after they had a break. Did he think about it? Did he just realise that he just he's just done? He just no point anymore. He did kind of seem to maybe not give up, but he did quit early. He didn't want to didn't want to look over the match and see his kind of faults or how he could have played better. I think in general he was just a bad opponent, wasn't he? Someone that again maybe again disrespected the game a bit for Ray, which again has been Ray's whole life, so very understandable why you'd be pissed off as hell about that. About not trying or not trying your best and not practicing in your own time as well, from what Ray said uh, here at the end while he was on the floor. Um, so yeah, just in general a, a bad opponent for Ray. There um, we saw him drink all his drinks after the break as well, so maybe he. Maybe he perhaps had some alcohol during the break and that kind of whiffed his uh, decision making or something or maybe he was just that kind of thirsty for a, a bit of alcohol or that kind of relief from uh, from this um, that he didn't really have that break. He actually, that break was actually spent kind of fixating on maybe his uh, next alcohol drink and uh, that's why he blundered as soon as he got back to sitting in the seat potentially. But um, again, I think there's probably plenty of ways you can look at it. Um, if you guys want to give me some introspection, that would be very much appreciated for this episode. Always uh, um, always love hearing what you guys have to say about these episodes and bits of information that I kind of miss out on. Um, and in general, let me know you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section. Again, it was a very good um, kind of comparison to last episode, in my opinion. Very different outcomes, very different people. Um, and uh, Turns out the uh, the blonde girl, the stepsister, was very much right about it this time, isn't she? Um, kind of sad because Ray really did do his best there, didn't he, to help out? But yeah, leave a like on the video as well if you guys did like this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions. Um, I should be back tomorrow for you guys. Um, I'm recording this on Monday. Um, so yeah, I should be back tomorrow, which is Wednesday for you guys, and then on Friday as well. So hopefully you can join me then and enjoy the rest of your day.